We've involved the public so far by building on what we already know. So there's been lots of um, health data projects that have gone on in the past. For example, the Great North Care Record, um, where we've done lots and lots of engagement with patients and the public and stakeholders and other interested groups. So we're not starting from a blank sheet of paper. We're building on what people have told us previously that are in, that's important to them. So that's a really um, important starting point. So building from that, we've recruited around 18 people who are acting as public members as part of the programme. So their role and responsibility is to help us design and deliver our programme of public involvement and engagement. The cross-section of people that we've got acting as public members have got real, a range of backgrounds um, different, um, from different communities and have got different interests. But one thing that connects them all is their common interest in making sure that um, people's health records are used in an appropriate way to help us develop research and innovation um, in the North East and North Cumbria and of course for the rest of the country as well. So naturally we know from the work that we've done that while patients and the public trust public bodies like the NHS, local authorities and universities etc, um, they have some concerns about commercial organisations. That's a reason why we've built our patient public involvement in at such a fundamental level in our um, what we call our data access process and only um, applications that can demonstrate that they are acting in the public interest from criteria that our patient and public members have developed will pass go. So effectively our public members have the right of veto. We're always interested in hearing from people who've got a passion to give their views about the use of patient data in research and health developments. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, get in touch.